Hey, what is going on guys? So today we're taking a look here at the HG Correct Century Turn A Gundam. So this is not exactly new. It came out about five years ago in 2014, but in my mind, I still think of this as like just coming out just recently. It's definitely in my mind, at least as far as I know, a part of the kind of the latest age of HGUC kits where they've all been pretty dang good as far as I'm concerned. So this is of course just the main Gundam from Turn A Gundam. In the background we can see the uh, Momo... Uh, in the background we can see the Kapool there, the Turn A version of that in green color. Still waiting on Bandai to go ahead and make an actual newer UC, HGUC kit of that. We have the old 144 skit. We have the old 144 scale uh, non-grade version, which is okay, it's fine, but a new HGUC kit of that would be awesome, whether it's the Turn A version or the blue Double Zeta version, either one is uh, fine by me. And then the, the Turn A version of the Zaku, which is the Bernardjarn, bon 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 uh, yeah, something like that. It's just a little bit kind of rounder, cuter looking version of the Zaku, essentially. So. Would be kind of cool to get an HD version of that at some point as well. Again, it's not really all that different, but it's a little bit different style. So, cool box right here on the front, it's just the Turn A posed up like that. Uh, as you guys know, Turn A is this, as a series is one of my favorite Gundam series uh, of them all. I really, really like it as a series. The Gundam itself, you know, the Master Grade, I built it. The Master Grade is awesome, but I don't know the kit of the you know, the kit of the Turn A Gundam is just not quite as exciting for me. I love it as an anime, but the Gundam build, I don't know, just as a as a kit is not exactly as exciting for me, but I have been wanting to check out this kit for a long time. I think I might enjoy this one a lot more than I'm expecting just because, as I've said in past videos, I don't know when, ages ago, I, I think the Turning Gundam is just one that's not, it doesn't really work well in a lot of alternate color schemes. It works well in its original color scheme, but if you wanted to go for like a custom color for it, it's it's a little bit it's one of the ones that's a little bit harder to adapt into a custom color scheme I feel like so but I want to try it so that is my plans for this later on anyway awesome box right here in the front I love the big moon in the background and everything so that's cool let's go around here on the side this is 177 in the HG line down here on the bottom of the box this came out unfortunately before we started getting English on the box so it's all in Japanese but you can see nice big photo here of the front and back of the painted sample of the kit. Over here, a uh, like composite image there with it firing the beam rifle, and then just a little bit more uh, information there over on the side. On the top of the box is where we got a bunch of action poses, so you can see the action with the cool bend in the legs, and it basically looks like a just a slightly simplified version, uh, a 144 scale version of the Master Grade. I mean, the engineering on this kit looks great, so I think it'll be a really nice one. Uh, there's just got the beam sabers there as well, the shield, so it's just very standard loadout weapons for the Turn A Gundam, exactly what you would expect. Uh, the chest, I'm not sure if that is a swappable piece, if the, if the chest actually opens up or if that's just that you have to part swap it. I think probably you're going to be part swapping that, and then maybe the back as well will open up. Uh, no missile container to come out and put a little 144 scale cow in there, unfortunately, I don't think. Uh, but it looks like you can take off the core fighter off the front, off the crotch there, the cockpit off of it and just have that as its own uh, separate flyer there it looks like you can still do that list price for this kit 1400 yen so aside from it being a very nicely engineered kit again as far as i've heard the list price for it is pretty reasonable as well so you can get it for around 15 bucks or something shouldn't be too bad so on that note i suppose i should say big thank you to S gundam store for sponsoring this review and if you guys do want to pick up the kit then check out the link down there to their site down below Aside from it being a pretty cheap kit, you can save yourself 10% more by using the coupon code there, ZakuRelease10. It's all down there in the video description, as you guys know, but just a reminder, just in case. Uh, Alright, so here we've got the manual for that, just the Turn A posed up in his very Turn A style pose. We're going to have these cool open hands again, just very iconic for the Turn A Gundam to have those, so it's nice that those are included. Now, I haven't built this kit. But I have built the Turn A Shin, which is based off of this kit. So that was, again, ages ago when that kit came out as a P Bandai kit from Gonna Build Fighters. Uh, so it'll be interesting, maybe I'll have to do a comparison for them for you guys so you can see how they look next to each other. But um, yeah, just cool uh, image of the kit there on the front, on here on the back, some action poses, and again, the same kind of stuff basically that we saw on the outside of the box. Posed up there, details of the face, the articulation of the shoulder, the arms, the knees, the uh, shin parts. And again, just about the cockpit there. More information in Japanese. The color guide down there at the bottom. Very s standard colors for this. It's just blue, yellow, red, and white, gray, essentially. So nothing too crazy. 
On the inside, we've got some more information and more uh, sample poses and stuff here. We got a couple of screenshots from the anime, it looks like, as well. There it is holding the beam rifle in the two kind of ways to hold that as a standard beam rifle, or you can hold it as a sort of cannon there as well. And then just about the turn A Gundam down here, I don't know where it's doing, it can do the pose where he hangs the laundry. That's nice. So that's uh, good to know that you can do that. That might be kind of cool to work into some sort of diorama or a little vignette there. Just to use some wire and some pieces of, a uh, little thin pieces of plot plate or something to make some little sheet looking bits. Yeah, it's an interesting idea. Anyway, all right, so we've got the parts list here on the front. It's gonna be using everything except for a handful of polycaps there, it looks like. And then construction, uh, body, head, arms, legs, waist, and that is it. And then onto the weapons, and let's see, we've got one color page here. Finishing up the weapons, the shield basically, and then how to do some posing for that, how to hold the weapons, how to mount the stuff onto the backpack. And then, yeah, it looks like you're gonna have be having uh, part swapping parts here for opening up the chest and the backpack, so simple enough. Oh, and then it looks like the core fighter is actually a separate piece that is just all molded in white there, it looks like. So it's not going to be the actual cockpit off the front of the kit that comes off. You have uh, just separate pieces for that, so hmm, interesting. Although I suppose that was probably also included with the turnation. I don't just don't remember because it's been a while since I've built that kit. But anyway, let's get a look at the runners. All right, so here is the foil sticker sheets. Uh, there's a few on there. It's not really all that bad. Basically, one for the eyes, for the turnay logo up for his forehead. A couple of little black bits, I think probably for just like the stripes on his forearms or the legs or something. And then some red bits which look mostly for the rifle. And then a couple of little red bits that I think are probably like on the legs and things like that. So not really too bad for the stickers, just a handful of, small little handful of them. And now unfortunately we've just got SB13 here for our beam saber effect parts for this. They're just kind of the standard 144 scale beams. Uh, I really wish they would have made uh, specific ones for this that are just straight and thin like the Tourney's beams I think really should be. These are just the standard ones that kind of start out thick and then they get thinner uh, and just, yeah, I just wish that they would have made some specific ones for the turn A. PC001 for our polycaps, but as you notice, uh, surprisingly, these are actually in white rather than gray, so that's a little bit uncommon. All right, and then runner A here, obviously just a bunch of our parts here in white. So for all over the kit, a whole bunch of white parts, including parts for the head, the mustache down there and everything is all here on the A runner. And then it's continued here onto the B runner as well. We've got parts for the weapons, the shield on there as well, as well as the parts for the uh, cockpit core fighter there as well. Runner C molded in just kind of a standard medium gray color here is all of the joint parts or some of the joint parts and some of the hand parts on there, parts for the back of the shield, parts for the veins in the back of the leg and all of that. So there you go. Runner D is all of our blue parts there for the torso and including the option parts there for the open torso and open back. Then D2 would be our yellow parts for the front skirts and the top of the torso. Runner E1 here, our red parts here for the feet, the eyes, the shield, and the midsection. And then runner E2 is our one little clear yellow piece there for the cockpit. All right, so there you go. As you can see, it's a pretty simple kit. I mean, there's not a whole lot in there, but that is why it's not gonna be costing you a whole lot, so. It's all good, it looks like it comes with everything that you would expect the turn A to come with. Maybe it's missing the Gundam Hammer, that would maybe have been cool to be included as well, because that's also pretty significantly used in the series, again, if you've seen the anime series. Uh, so that maybe would have been nice to have included in here as well, but you can get that in different HG kits if you really wanted to get that and then give it to this kit. So it's not like you just can't get it at all. Anyway, it's just a shame that it wasn't included with this. So. The kit looks awesome, I'm going to get this built up and then we'll have the review coming up next guys. Thank you so much for watching, if you have any other further questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.